I know the title is probably going to trigger some of you guys in multiple ways. Broku? What do you mean Ost hasn't truly broken his limits? He's gotten stronger, faster, learned new techniques, got new swords, a new transformation. And yes, and yes, Asta has broken his limits in those senses. But in Black Clover, majors have a main way of breaking their limits. This is highlighted many times throughout the series. When a mage is in a tough scenario, either physically, emotionally, or mentally demanding, and also depending on the work they have to they've put into their own craft, they will learn a new spell in their grimoire that is usually a top tier spell. Yami's Dark Dimensional Slash, Noel's Valkyrie Dress, and much more. This is shown as the true way for someone to break their limits in the Black Clover universe. And if you think about it, Asta hasn't done that yet, which means there's more room for him to have a huge moment in the future, especially with them potentially needing an actual personal spell and a possible battle with the King of the Elves, Licked. So today I'm going to discuss what Ost has been through so far and how a new spell could change him in his progress for the future of the series. There also will probably be some manga spoilers, but not very many. Before that guys, it would mean a lot if you do leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also post your thoughts down below, as well as subscribe and turn notifications to be notified every time I upload a Black Clover video. So guys, Asta has really turned himself into an absolute beast. He's attained new powers and techniques along the way, as well as training his body physically to morph himself into a legitimate magic knight. He also gained power-ups from the Witch Queen when she healed him. When you are healed by the Witch Queen's blood magic, it makes your body stronger, or at least when she chooses it to. He then attained two new swords, the Demon Dweller Sword, which is much sharper than the Slayer Sword, and has the effect of being able to take magic from other mages and launch them from his sword. He has the new Demon Destroyer Sword, which can cancel out cursed spells and act similarly to the other swords in battle and just cancel the effects of spells over time. Asta also learned how to use Ki, which helps his reaction time in battle and lets him sense his key, the key of others, which acts as a great replacement for not being able to sense mana. He also recently gained a transformation in the anime, which has multiple names, Black Asta, Demon Asta, or Partial Demon Asta. But it is interesting that despite all these improvements and power-ups, Asta has yet to break his limits in the typical way that most mages do, by achieving a new spell mid-battle, and usually that spell is their new best spell, or at least one of their most powerful or useful ones. But if you notice, Asta has never had this sort of limit-breaking new spell, which means that Asta has yet to truly break his limits in Black Clover. Asta gained the Demon Dweller Sword, while after finding the new sword, it also put a new spell in his grimoire. He didn't gain the sword in the form of a Limit Breaker. He just pretty much stumbled upon the sword while in the dungeon with Luck and Noel. So while technically you could say he did get a new spell in his grimoire, it isn't really the type of thing that I'm discussing here. Now next, people will probably bring up Asta's Partial Demon Form, which as a transformation isn't a way of a Limit Breaker. It still isn't the sort of Limit Breaker that is typical in the world of Black Clover. Asta gained this form seemingly through some sort of demon that is living inside of his grimoire. There was no mention of Asta gaining a new spell in his grimoire from this. So again, the Limit Breaker isn't truly a Black Clover Mage Limit Breaker. And Asta is likely is going to be in need of a new powerful spell soon, especially if Licht is truly unstoppable. Licht, while not being fully recovered from his reincarnation, not even trying and not even have his grimoire, took on both Asta and Elf Yuno at the same time and defeated them. While people are speculating that Asta will have will have a full demon form where he pulls anti-magic from both swords and becomes a full demon, but this likely still wouldn't be a new spell, and wouldn't even be strong enough to defeat a fully powered Licht, likely. Especially if Licht has his grimoire. A new spell could push Asta over the edge and give him a chance to probably defeat Licht in battle. Now you might say, well Asta only has swords, so what is a new spell? Is he going to give him another sword? And well it could, but also... While this did used to be a sword magic grimoire, it has changed, and with a demon inside, making this a five leaf clover instead of a four leaf, there's room for more magic, or should I say anti-magic abilities. I think a perfect spell that Asta could get is an anti-magic armor. Do I really need to explain why this would be amazing? I know I don't really need to, but I'm still going to anyway. Previously, Asta has always been able to reflect and block magic attacks with his swords, but has never really been able to just tank these magic attacks like they were nothing, at least powerful ones. If Asta were able to get a new spell that acted as armor, this would step him up into a much more fierce competitor in the Black Clover universe because he would meet most of the standards of a mage. He can fly, block or deflect magic, he can attack, use his reinforcement magic to be stronger, and now could tank attacks. One thing really missing is massive explosion, like anti-magic explosions, 
or long range stuff. He can still have some long range abilities, but not a lot. But anyways, guys, I just want to point out that I don't really call Asta ever getting a new spell of sorts. I've heard some people talk about this and just say, oh, well, Asta can't get new spells because he has sword anti-magic. Well, we don't really know that. It hasn't been stated he couldn't get new spells, and it hasn't stated that he can. I mean, it hasn't happened yet, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't happen either. And there is still a lot to learn in Black Clover as the series is far from over. Now, I do think Asta will get a new spell, and like I said, it'll be something that will make him more similar to other mages. Asta isn't breaking his limits in his own way for the entire series so far, while other mages keep adding spells. Although it might be a divergence of what has traditionally been done for Asta that he has done to improve himself in his own way, but I think divergence would just work in the situation because it would be unexpected. But overall, I want to know you guys' thoughts. What do you think is going to happen in the series? Do you think Asta will ever truly break his limits in the same scope as the mages that surround him? Or do you think that Tabata will have Asta keep improving in his own magicless way? Let me know your thoughts below, and also please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus... Ultra!